Welcome to this session on how to test moderated mediation with MS. Moderated mediation is also sometimes called as conditional indirect effect. There are several approaches available for testing this effect. Subgroup approach is simplest one. And remember, it has its limitations too. Let's do it in MS. So in step number one, what we do, we view the model. So this is our model. So performance is our dependent variable. Turnover intention is our mediator. Commitment is the independent variable. And we want to examine whether gender moderates the mediation effect of turnover intention between commitment and performance. So in this case, gender is our moderator. So what we do basically, we uh, create two groups. So click it. So then swipe the females. So then create a group for male. And uh, now assign the data. Email, so file name. <coughs> so the my data set is. So then after assigning the data, what you need to do is uh, you have to view. So gender, okay. So the group values and females. Females are coded by one. So, so then. Repeat the same process for the second group. Grouping variable. So here is the main gender. Then group value is 2. Now you see 189 cases belong to female group and 209 cases they are related to male group. View analyze properties here. I need some selections in the output file, and then, in particularly in the bootstrapping, I would like to perform bootstraps. I can increase this sum like 500, even 1000. You can increase so maybe more. Analyze calculate estimates. Let's view the results, view text output. So first we look at the P values and the estimates. So the P values are fine. All three are acceptable. Commitment to turnover intention and turnover intention performance and commitment to performance all are statistically significant. And these are the two groups. So let's first look at for female group. Female group are all are statistically significant, and for male group also statistically significant. Although these estimates, the coefficients, so they vary. But interestingly, sign is same in all the two groups. However, I am more interested to find out the indirect effect. So here is the indirect effect. And uh, in case of female, it's 0.168, and in case of male, it's 0.65. And uh, let's see whether uh, these two are statistically significant or not, or which one is statistically significant, which one not. So here is the total significance. So first female, group, so it is statistically significant, 0.010. And for male, also it is statistically significant. So what does it mean? So that means the mediation effect, means the indirect effect, is statistically significant across the two groups. So uh, this is how we conduct moderated mediation by using subgroup. Thanks for watching.